Okay guys, in this problem, a 10 acre area consisting of mostly apartments is constructed as part of a redevelopment project. It has been determined that the time of concentration for this area is 20 minutes during the 10 year frequency storm. What is the peak runoff in CFS from this area during the storm according to the rational method? So the first thing we're going to want to do is go to our civil reference manual and type in rational formula method. That might be a weird thing to search for, but if you search for rational, it will still come up. Um, and if you can't find that, it's worth noting that the next thing you'll search for, if you need, when you have to find the runoff coefficient, will be on the very next page. So these two things will be side by side. Anyway, the reference manual will take us to the equation for the rational method. And we can write that here. Rational method. And the equation is going to be Q equals C I A. Q is our flow in units of CFS. C is unitless. I is in inches per hour. And A is in acres. Um, so from there, these are the terms we need to find in order to solve for the peak runoff. So our first term is our area in this case, and that's given right in the problem. So A equals 10 acres. Next, we can find our I. That's going to come from the given intensity duration frequency curves here. The problem states that we're looking for a 10 year frequency storm during a time of concentration of 20 minutes. So what we can do is use this intensity duration frequency curve plot. We can start down at the 20 minute mark here and we can go up to the 10 year frequency curve. So if we go up and stop here, we can see that the corresponding rainfall intensity or I is about 4.5 inches per hour. So finally, we can solve for, or rather can search for C. Um, in this case, the problem notes that the area is consisting of mostly apartments. And this is actually important in this case, because as we search our runoff coefficient table, we will see that there is a section for residential and apartment dwelling areas has its own uh, runoff coefficient called out. And this could be anywhere between 0 0.5 to 0 0.7. Now, in this case, we're looking for peak runoff. So it would make sense for us to use the largest value. So we're going to use 0 0.7 here. And at this point, all we need to do is plug in those numbers. So Q equals 0 0.7. 5 times, sorry, we just said it would be 0 0.7, 0 0.7 times 4.5 inches per hour times 10 acres. And this comes out to 31.5 CFS, which on our problem we can see is going to be closest to 32. So the only things you have to pay attention for in this problem are the size of the area, what information is given to help you find the right runoff coefficient, um, using the time of concentration to find the correct rainfall intensity off of the correct curve, and understanding where to find your equations for rational method and your information on your runoff coefficients.
And that is it for this problem.